are working to try to build a $5 billion nat gas pipeline, the Atlantic Coast Pipeline from West Virginia to North Carolina. And the immediate question I think of is, is this going to get caught up in politics like Keystone? Gas infrastructure is extraordinarily important, not only to the electric industry, but to the gas industry. And I think about the Carolinas in particular, we have one gas pipeline that has been serving us for 50 years. And we have added just over the last five years, five natural gas plants for producing electricity. And so having that extra infrastructure for the benefit of our customers to lessen volatility and have a diverse, reliable source of supply is so important. So I think the business case for this is compelling. Is it going to make it through? And we'll work through it. I think, you know, environmental uh, community challenges and uh, there will be a lot of uh, discussion, important involvement of stakeholders, and that's part of the approval process. Duke Energy is still really reliant on coal. Um, does this eventually put coal out of business? By 2015, Duke will be a third coal, a third natural gas, and a third nuclear. So we, over the last five years, have closed half of our coal plants in the Carolinas. Are you going to close the rest, or is this something that's around to stay? You know, it's part of modernization as we transition from coal. I think coal will be a part of our mix probably for the next decade. But as you know... With Just for the next decade? For the, as you think about new um, you know, environmental regulations, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to build a coal plant. And then I, I see additional transition over time as we move forward. Uh, and gas is certainly an important part of that transition. Duke had what the company itself has called an environmental disaster this year. 30,000 tons in February of coal ash poured in to a river in North Carolina. Uh, you do not face that danger with renewables. So why does America still rely so much on coal? You know, I think every form of generation has an environmental footprint, whether it's during production or whether it's during generation or the disposal of waste. Like this. Well, different kinds of risks, right? Um, every form of generation has some sort of risk associated with it. And so that balance that we're talking about, finding the way to use all the different sources of generation is what's important. And at Duke, we're committed to doing the right thing. We're committed to environmental stewardship. I know, I know you're working to clean it up. You know, Dan River has been front and center for Duke. It was an accident. It never should have happened, uh, and we have taken responsibility for it. We have not only repaired the pipe, but we have you know, pursued cleanup of the river. I think it's important to recognize that drinking water was never affected. The river is back to normal for agriculture and recreation. 